Hey guys, it's so Tom here, and welcome back to Slay the Spire. We're going back in to do another ironclad run. I need to at least get to the third boss because it's doing my head in that I cannot get past the second boss on camera for a video. Live streams, I've done it at least twice, but videos, for some reason, I can't do it. So, uh, choose a card to obtain random relic, gold, but get a curse or a random boss relic. I'm going to pick a card. Okay, they're all kind of shit. Actually, no, you're not seeing reds pretty good. Especially early on, so I will take that now. we got to decide what path we want to take. So this way is like basically a guaranteed elite fight. Whereas this way... Uh, okay, that's basically guaranteed as well. So we pretty much have to go up this path in the middle. Which, you know what? That's fine. We can do three fights. Treasure. Uh, sorry, a shop. A fight. Yeah, 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 that's fine, that's fine. En enough checking. I'm pretty sure this is the right way to go about it. Alright, we're starting off with a slime fight. Now, honestly, this is basically... I mean, he's got quite a lot of health, to be fair, for a first fight, but whatever. Uh, for a slime, anyway. I am gonna... You know what? Let's just try and take out the little slime first, because he's gonna keep doing, like, negative effects and stuff, and then little bits of damage. So we'll just... I'm gonna try to take no damage. And... You know, while still doing as much damage as possible. So it might be a bit slower than usual. I mean, he's dead this turn. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Right, first of all, let's do that and then that. Because then he's vulnerable for the next turn and that slime's dead. We're going to take no damage. We might get weakened again. Oh, frail, what's that? 25% less block. Okay, that's a bit annoying, but... That's actually very annoying. I'm going to do... We'll do the free block... And you know what? We'll do we'll do eight damage for well, twelve, and then give him extra vulnerable. So we're gonna take five damage, but we will get six health back. So he it doesn't really matter, and he is definitely gonna be dead next turn. So really, it doesn't actually matter that we took damage there because he is now dead. So we do six twelve. Yeah, he's done. Very nice. Oh yeah, he was taking extra actually. So he only took two cards. Dexterity potions, pretty good. What have we got? Play free will become vulnerable to all enemies. Exhaust. That's actually pretty good. Do eight damage every time this card is played. Increase damage by four. That's very good. I want that. So at the beginning, like I said last time, you want to try and do as many fights as possible, just normal fights, because it'll, uh, you know, it it really helps to get those you know extra cards straight away. Sorry, I was just thinking about what to do there, but no, turns out that was fine. So he's gonna do this and get like what plus two, plus three. Oh no, sorry, he gets the ability to get plus three at the end. Uh, six damage, so... You know, we'll take the one and then hit him twice. There's no point blocking all of it, especially when we're going to get plus six back at the end of the fight. So if we just take the one damage and do that amount of damage there... Uh, you know what, we'll do... If we do this... We can do... This is going to do 12, because we've used it once already. Uh... Oh yeah, we can kill him. There you go. Done. Don't even worry about it. See, picking that card at the beginning has already come in handy because we just want to fight. Well, we would have won anyway, but we want to fight without taking any damage because of it. Uh, heavy Blade, I will always take. <clears throat> We've got a slave with 48 health. That is literally no problem. So we could do 8 damage straight away, which... You know what? Yeah, I'll take block for 10 and do 8. It's not quite as much as we could have done, but I only want to take... I want to try to take... Six damage or less per fight, because then we'll get it back at the end. Uh, so I can do 14. I can do 8. Okay, we can't block this, so... We might as well do this, and then this. And then next turn, we should get... We might get Heavy Blade back next turn. <clears throat> Alright, so we're already over the, you know, the, the threshold for not taking any damage overall. But it doesn't matter too much. Now, I'm going to take... That. You know, I'll use this. Because then I can block one more and still use Heavy Blade. And it will do 15 as well. So he's dead next turn. We're not taking any damage. And we're all good. And I told you we'd probably get Heavy Blade there as well, didn't I? So yeah, I'm completely... I knew that was going to happen. It wasn't a random guess. Uh, to be fair, we've got such a small amount of cards. It was quite... It was very likely. <laughs> so... Right. Luckily, we had a multiple, you know, multiple strikes there. We're not too late in the game yet, where they might not come up, which can happen. 
but I always pick damaging cards anyway most of the time, so really, it doesn't matter if a basic strike doesn't come up, because we always have something else. Uh, I definitely want perfected strike. I've got a shop. Please have good something. Good. Yes, flex. I don't even care what else he's got. I actually probably, I probably should have checked first, to be honest. Um, you know what? This is actually pretty good. So... Yeah, I'll take that. Fit, having like... You know, we... we bah, can't get my words out today. What is wrong with me? This is the first video I'm recording today, by the way. So... And, you know, it's, I've never recorded in the morning before. I just want to put that out there. And I am today. So... <laughs> If, I'm, if I can't speak properly, you know why. Alright, so we can do 18 damage. We can instantly kill this guy. We actually... And then we can actually block the rest. So yeah, we'll do that. That card already coming in handy. So yeah, you get two wounds in your deck, which is annoying when you've got a small deck. Um, but it's worked out because now we've taken no damage. And we're probably going to kill this guy on this turn because of flex. Wow. Wow. What a quick fight. <laughs> Alright, so far... Oh, yep, another flex. So far, I'm really liking this. We've got full health, so we can straight up just upgrade something. Ooh, now, the thing is, we've got two flexes. We can make it so they give us four strength, or we can do this one. Ooh, affects heavy blade five times. So instead of, like, strength adding plus one... Sorry, instead of strength adding plus three, it would add plus five per one strength. So if we got flex, flex, heavy blade. Sorry, flex, flex, heavy blade plus. That's going to be like a shitload. So yes, I will definitely do that. 100%. Alright, it looks like we're going for another uh, another strength build. Straight away we get flex and that. So we can go... Well, flex is free, so we might as well use it. This is going to do 10 and 2 vulnerable. And then we can use this as well, so... He is very, very nearly dead. This is good for slime fights. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna. Oh wait, you know, six damage though. You're right. No, 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 no. We can take six damage because we get it back at the end. <clears throat> right, now he's gonna do nine, but we. You know what? I don't want to take any damage, so. We'll just do that for now. That did make us vulnerable, annoyingly. This is such a good combination of cards, but we just couldn't... <clears throat> oh, shit. Could we have killed him there? No, because he would have left the other one alive. Actually, no. We probably could have killed him and left the other one because he wasn't doing any damage. But it doesn't matter. Uh, this is a pretty pointless one. We might as well just end the turn. The energy and defense don't carry across, so it's literally pointless. He's going to start doing a lot of damage soon if we don't hurry up. So, Heavy Blade? No. We will use uh, Flex, though. Uh, yeah, okay. Defend. If we do Strike, Strike. And then this, because I don't want to take that damage. Was it a waste? Maybe. Uh, ooh, Heavy Blade or Twin Strike. Now, you know what? I'm taking Heavy Blade because it's already got more base damage. And as well, we've got both the flexes. So, like, why would we not? I'm going to upgrade another thing. Now, this... What is this? Additional plus three. So, that could be actually crazy good. Uh, or we could get another Heavy Blade plus. What does this go up to? 20 block. You know what? I'm going to take that. 20 block is... That's quite a lot. For the sake of two wounds in your deck, it's not actually that bad. Start each combat game one strength. That is actually very, very good. Like, actually so good. Because we've got... If we get both the flexes and heavy blade on our first turn, we're going to have, like... What, six strength? No, because they're both normal flexes, so it'll be five strength. Uh, right, what we got here? I've read all of the cards for the rest of the combat. I really wish we could afford that. It's such a good card. We can get another Heavy Blade. Uh, you know what? I'm going to take this. You never know when 20 damage can save you. So that will be a guaranteed elite fight, which I don't want to do. We do have to fight this big slime guy, though. So we want to try and get him as low as possible before he splits. That's that's the trick with these. So, um, You know what? Yeah, let's bash him. Then use this. 
and then use both of these. So he should, he's not quite going to split yet. <clears throat> Which is actually really good, because he's only very slightly above the splitting threshold. So we should be able to get him like ridiculously low before he splits. Uh, you know what, flex is free, why would I not use it twice? Because now we can do 9, stop him from hitting us. And I could do... I'm not going to waste that on this. I'm going to keep it for the boss. We could take him down to 2 health and then we'll have 2 slimes at 2 each. But I kind of want to save that for the boss. In case anything goes down. You never know when 20 damage could save you. So I, I, don't, I don't really want to waste it on a slime. Although maybe I'm looking at it now thinking like, oh shit. <laughs> maybe I should have. Because now we're going to take damage. Um, can we kill one of them? So I can do 12, or I can do 14 and 5. So, no, it doesn't look like I can kill any of them. I probably should have used this actually, thinking about it. I didn't think that was going to both attack. Fourteen damage is... It's not that bad, but it's a decent amount. You know, I'm going to use... Poison would be a waste. Because that's actually, I think... Six, five, four, three, two, one. I think that ends up being like a, about the same as this, actually. You know, whatever. We're going to use this. I'm going to hit him. And then I'm going to do this on you. We're going to take 7 damage. <coughs> I actually probably should have blocked and taken 2 damage thinking about it. But it doesn't matter too much because we're going to go back up to 76. Because he is definitely dead now. Yeah, I thought about I thought the... Oh, what's that? Oh, straight up 2 energy. Okay. Oh, yes please. Impervious. That's actually really good. <coughs> the poison potion is probably a little bit better than just straight up 20 damage. It might actually work out about the same. I'm not too sure. Uh, okay, so straight away, can we do 26? Yes, we definitely can. Uh, we, ooh, we might actually be able to kill... Alright, let's do this. And then... I could kill him now, I could use the energy potion, but I'm not going to waste it, because we can just kill him next turn. He's not attacking us, so why does it matter? Oh, no. Oh, I thought I was going to do Tangled where you can't attack. Never mind, we're fine. <laughs> yeah, so you're dead. <laughs> nice. And even more nice, we got put back up to full health because of that. End of your turn, game free block. That's actually really good. Uh, I will take that. So we've got a couple more. Well, we've got one more fight, I think. Oh, I'm not a thief. Christ's sake. Oh, we might actually be able to kill him on the first turn here. No, not quite. Okay. Um... So we need 29. And then another 9. Really, we should block? Oh, shit. Right, you know what? We've got a campfire coming up. So we should actually just do this. Because I think that literally the next one is a campfire. So we're going to take a fair amount of damage, but we should get back to full health as long as we don't go below like 55, I think. I'm not too sure on that, but I'm pretty sure that's about right. So we can do exactly seven. And then we can do, okay, 17. There's not really any point getting any more energy. <clears throat> it's good that we got that card that's plus two energy as well and the potions plus two because we could get like a really good turn going on the boss Just depends on what boss it is impervious is really good to have as well uh, We'll do flex because then we should be able to kill him. Yeah, there we go Get plus six and then we can rest uh, Do we upgrade a number of times we haven't got any upgrade cards so that might be kind of pointless Headbutt is actually really good because if you've got a card you've just used that you need back, it can be very good. Please don't be a fight. Okay. As you come to the dead end and begin to turn around, walls slam down from the scene trap of you. Free face materials from the walls and speak. Forget what you know and I'll let you go. I require a change to see a new space. If you want to pass, then you must grow. Okay, so... 
I don't really want to remove any cards. Uh, we can transform a card or upgrade a card. I'm going to choose... Transform can give us something really good. So I'm going to do, I'm going to do that. Just transform a basic strike. There you go. That's actually such a good card. Especially when we're about to go do a boss as well. So we'll rest up to get full health. <clears throat> We've got poison plus dexterity and plus energy. So we're going to use the uh, dexterity straight away. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Please give me impervious. I was really hoping we'd get impervious straight away. Alright. He's not going to attack until next turn. Straight away. Let's get plus two dexterity because that lasts for the whole fight. I'm going to use barricade. Because I, I, it's actually really good that we got barricade for this fight. Because, oh boy. You know what? This might seem like a waste. But because it's going to carry over, it's good to start off with straight up 14. Because he's going to come out with a big attack straight away. <clears throat> oh, you beautiful game. We don't have anything to do weaken, do we? No, we have vulnerable. Right, straight away, let's go. <laughs> right, because now we're still going to take a little bit. Because what's 7 times 5 is 45... So, yeah, we're still going to take a little bit of damage. But, uh... Oh, we... No, you know what? That doesn't matter. You know what? Let's just straight away throw the poison at him, because why not? Uh, deal 9 damage every time this guy... Okay, we'll use flex first, and then use this. Because then that will come back soon and get upgraded. So, we're going to take, like, I think, 4 damage. Oh, no, I'm shit at maths. Never mind. No, 7 times 5 is 35, not 45. Sorry, I was thinking of, uh, well, the complete wrong number. Alright, that actually worked out really well. Uh, so, he's going to do 10 now. Oh, we can just strap get 22 block. This with barricade is just insane, and so is this, actually. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to use this, this, and this. Because with barricade, that shit is going to be very useful. <coughs> Obviously, we've only got 5 turns now until he starts getting... Getting some more shit going on. Oh, yes, we got Heavy Blade with heavy, uh, with Flex. 23. Uh, I can do 9 or get an extra 7. You know, I'll take an extra 7 block. <clears throat> i got to really think about this, because when he gets back around there, he's going to do another 30... No, uh, sorry, 30... 42. Alright, we've got Heavy Blade. We can do Heavy Blade and a Strike, or we can do... It does Exhaust, though. I don't really... I'm going to save that for a better turn. We'll just do one and one for now. Luckily, burn does two. And we uh, we get plus three block at the end. Right, you got a bit of strength there. He's going to start doing eight. Uh, perfected strike is pretty good. We can get another 22 block, which I'm going to do. Uh, we can make him... Wait, 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 wait. Flex. And we can do 19, but this will make him vulnerable for the next turn. Definitely go for that. <clears throat> I feel like this is probably the best I've handled this boss fight so far. Like, I've got a pretty pretty good deck going into it. The only thing is we're getting a lot of wounds, but that doesn't matter too much. Uh, you know what we'll do? Flex, defend, strike. I mean, that's literally all we can do because of the wounds. But I just need to get this defense as high as I can. No, sorry, block as high as I can for when he brings out the big attack next turn. Because it's not going to be great. Right, we've got Heavy Blade... You know, we'll go Rampage. That'll get upgraded, though, if we use it. You know what? Yeah, we'll use it because we need that to get stronger. And then we'll use Heavy Blade. Or should we defend? No, no Heavy Blade. Alright, he's almost half done. He's, well, he basically is half done. Right, here comes the big one. 5 times 6. Oh, yeah, 30. That's not actually that bad. Uh, we can get, like, another... We don't actually have to. I'm going to do this, though. Because I feel like the more defense we have going into it, the more we're going to have left over, obviously. So, <clears throat> it'll be better in the long run. Alright. Not bad. We're going to get burnt or not because we've got block. Uh, do 17. Or 17. It's really, it's no different. Uh, we don't have anything to give our strength, so we might as well. Oh, we could do both. Yeah, we'll do both. Why not? 
Alright, we're almost done. We've taken no damage against this boss, which I am very happy about. <laughs> I do have to start using... Oh, there we go. I was going to say, I do have to start getting some more defense going, but we got it. Uh, I can get that card back with a headbutt, which I might as well, because why not? Actually, you know what? We'll go for... I'll take Heavy Blade, because we should have a flex coming up soon. <clears throat> if not, like, the next turn. No, okay, not quite. Uh, so we can do 17 and 17, because that's been upgraded. So that's actually really, really good. I think the next kind of cards I want to go for are ones that inflict vulnerable and weak. Because we haven't got any cards that make the enemy weak. And we haven't got... We've only got, like, one card that makes them vulnerable. So, uh, realistically, now that we've got all the good strength stuff going, other than, obviously, double strength and demon form, which are, like, two of the best strength cards, in my opinion... Uh, I want to. I'll try and get them two cards for extra strength, and then after that, I will start going for stuff that does vulnerable and uh, weak. Because, like I say, we haven't got barely any of those yet. All right, we might actually beat this boss without taking any damage. <clears throat> In fact, I'm like pretty sure we're good unless the next hand is just completely full of wounds and burns. No, straight away he's dead. Oh no, we got 12 block though. Oh never mind, we got flex. So we're gonna do 29. Actually, 31 because he's vulnerable. Wow, we did it. We, we beat the boss without taking any damage. Oh my god, we got bludgeon. We got bludgeon with a strength build. <laughs> Holy shit, that's going to be crazy good. We get plus one strength at the beginning. Then if we use flex flex to have five strength. And then if we can get demon form, which gives you plus two strength per turn. And then double strength. Ooh, bludgeon's going to do a lot of damage. We've already got barricades, no need to get it again. Uh, so, we'll take Bludgeon. And then we'll choose our reward. On card reward screen, choose from four cards instead of three. That's pretty good. Obtain three curses and three relics. That does seem pretty good. Although it could come out very bad, depending on what we get. Uh, upon pick up, choose and transform three cards, then upgrade them. I really kind of want the three relics, but the three curses could be really bad. You know what? High risk, high reward. Let's go. Unplayable if transformed or removed from your deck. Lose free max HP. Unplayable through. If this card's in your hand at the end of the turn, it's exhausted. Exhausted cards are removed from your deck until the end of combat. That's actually fine because it just doesn't do anything. Uh, unplayable one in hand. Lose one HP when other cards are played. Ooh, that's... That one's the worst one. These two kind of... This does something if you get rid of it. This one just stops you from having another card. Whereas this one actually does like one damage per card played. So that could be a bit of pain in the ass. But what relics do we get? If you end your turn without blocking, gain six block. That's pretty good. Energy is now conserved between turns. That's actually really fucking good. At the, end, at the start of each combat, draw two additional cards. Okay, these two, very good. This one, not as much. I'll take it though. Ice cream, that is very, very good. Energy can serve between turns. Because I can use the plus two. I mean, that's kind of pointless. But, whatever. The point is, if I have a turn where they're not attacking and all I have is block cards, I can keep free extra energy for the next turn. That's actually really good. But, as you probably know by now, I only do one level per video or the videos will be too long. So, that will be it for today. So, yeah. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like button, leave a comment down below, or subscribe to the channel for more videos. Any of that stuff is massively appreciated, and I'll be a super Mario to win of it. <laughs> yeah, so again, thank you so much for watching. As always, I'll see you in the next video, and goodbye.